Welcome to Skyrim. I am Curmudgeon. Here we are at the mouth of the cave underneath Helgen. And we just made our getaway. And we're going to come out here. And meet with Hadvar. There he is. Wait. And Looks like he's gone for There the goes Alduin. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. The closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. That's got to be one of the strangest comments in the entire game. That one about maybe it's best we split up. When clearly... We should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. The game the intends for you to follow to Hadvar. Talios is the only one who can stop them. I don't quite understand that comment. See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. When I was a boy. That place always used to give me nightmares. Draugr creeping down the mountain which ran through my window at night. That kind of thing. I admit, I still don't much like the look of it. Well, Hadvar, I sort of agree with you. are the Gaudian stones. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead. See for yourself. All right. We have thief, mage, warrior. Accept. Warrior. Good. I knew you shouldn't have been on that cult the minute I laid eyes on you. And out there is Lake Illinalto. Where are you, Hadvar? Ah, there you are. Ah, this is beautiful. I'm concerned you've already earned your part. But until we get that confirmed by General Tullius, just stay clear of other Imperial soldiers and avoid any complications. Yeah, I think pardons are a little above your pay grade, Hadbar. Two arrows and two misses. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Right. I'm glad you decided to come with me. Right. I I'm need to slow down and say what I'm doing. Yes, 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 yes. Slow down and say what I'm doing. Uh. Things 
look quiet enough here. Come on, there's my uncle. Hello, Sven, old buddy, old pal. Uncle Halvor, hello. Dad, what are you doing here? Are you on leave from Shore, Bow? What happened to you, boy? Shh, are you in uncle, some kind please. of trouble? Keep your voice down. I'm fine, but we should go inside to talk. What's going on? And who's this? She's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. Okay, okay, come inside then. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. Yes, I didn't really save his life. A dragon! I saw a dragon! What? What is it now, Mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It, it flew right over the barrel. That it did. Dragons now, is it? Yes. Thanks, Mother. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all, and then you'll believe me. Mrs. Sven, you're absolutely correct. And your son is... Well... Feindall thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling her. Ah, is she now? Sigrid, we have company. Radvar, we've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Okay. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to start. You know I was assigned to General Tullius' skull. We were stopped in Helgen. Then we were attacked. By a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend. <laughs> well, I need to get back to Solitude. That's obviously not true. Know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. Yarl needs to know there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Well, sir, I will do it, but it will be a long time before I do it. Um, may I use your forge? I see no harm in it. If you have the skill, the grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. All right, then. What does it look like? Does it have big teeth? Hush, child. Don't pester your cousin. You two make yourselves at home. Go across the street and sell. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. Sorry you had to hear that. I don't know what you overheard. 
Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Good. Do you have any lockpicks? Yes, 17. I'll take them. Now. I'll get two of these bows. All right. Sell all of this stuff. Sell the wine. Black bar mead. I'll keep the haunting brew mead. Keep the ingredients. Keep the books. And keep all of that. I better get back to cleaning the store. What a mess. Okay. Now we will go over here. And we will take this stuff because being a friend allows me to do that. Make, may the gods watch over your battles, friend. Now, do you need any help around the forge? Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. I. Okay, this is a. Uh, A, uh, what would you call it? Ah, uh, tutorial, that's what you call it. A, uh, whatever you need. My spear is simple and strong. Here's your iron dagger. I can forge. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Choose a dagger. X. Yes. And there's tutorials on alchemy and also You're enchanting. For a new iron or steel is what you uh, need. Sharpen the iron dagger. The this looks good. You put time into your blades. They'll serve you well when you need them. Okay. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Okay. I'll go ahead and tan all the leather. I've got some. Got the bear. Take what you need, my I could forge you a war hammer that would crush a giant's head like a wall. Here's that leather you wanted. Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings. That kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hive helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, nope, nope, nope. I can make stuff here. A hide helmet, he said. Okay, and A. Okay. Whatever you need. My smear is you the sneaky type. Got some nice daggers around here somewhere. Here's the hide helmet. Huh. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Hi. And X. For iron or steel is what you I've tempered the hide that helmet. Fancy you have talent. Keep working at your craft, and you'll be a fine smith one day. Okay. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? 
Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Okay. Until next time. All right. So, now let's make a set of leather armor. Okay, well, we're going to need uh, some leather. <laughs> that would crush a giant's head like a walnut. Um, what have you got for sale? The finest weapons and armor. Okay. Leather. Um. Let's try tin. Okay. Good day. Something? Uh, I need strips. Yes. Okay. Whatever you need. Find the spirit is simple and strong. I can All right. Armor, boots, bracers, helmet. Selected, craft, selected, craft, selected, craft, selected, craft. All right. Now, put it on. Okay. Now, do I have, yep, I got enough time to go sell off. Not sell off. I have enough time to go sell. My sister Camilla, or trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Okay, and uh, um, no, 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 don't buy iron dagger, hide helmet, imperial armor, boots, bracers, helmet. Ingredient. Better get back to cleaning the store. What a All right, now how many iron ingots do I have? Seven. Nobody believes me, but I tell you, I saw a dragon. There is a axe right there. I just saw Hod up at the sawmill. So I'm going to go sell some firewood to him. Uh, got business here in Riverwood, eh? There are worse villages. Oh, I like Riverwood. I have firewood to sell. Honest <laughs> gold for honest work. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. That um, makes him my friend. So now I'm going to go do two more. That gives me six. Pieces of firewood. And then I think all things being equal, I don't think that I need any 
perks at all, I think, to make iron arrows. Since I was able to make iron dagger, then I should be able to make iron arrows. That's my logic. I know I can't make dwarven arrows until I have a dwarven perk, but there's This should work just fine. So let's go see. I've actually, this is the first time I've actually ever tried this. I've never actually made iron arrows before. Yep, there we go. Okay, well that should be enough arrows to get me. Yeah, it should get me by for a while. can use this book now I have an axe but what I don't have is a pickaxe But I know where to get one. So let's go down and get one. See what happens here. Yeah, nothing. Okay. I have to at least go. Now, one of the things I do want to do is I want to go change this. Uh, standing stone. I chose this standing stone for a very silly reason. That is so cool. I have no idea why it shoots that thing way up in the sky. Probably indicates something about getting power from the stars or some such nonsense. All stealth skills increase 20% faster. Yes, I'm a um, stealth archer. That's how I've learned to play the game. I tried, when I first started playing this game, I discovered that I couldn't play it. Where 
are you? At any rate, when I first started playing this game in uh, November of 11, I, uh, I, well, I couldn't play it. I, uh, I couldn't complete sites. I would go into a, a place, a cave, say, and couldn't finish it, I would just die over and over and over and couldn't manage to finish it. And I eventually discovered uh, that sneaking and archery together enabled me to um, survive. Especially if you combine them with uh, uh, armor that you improve with enchanting. Alchemy. You used alchemy and enchanting together. Uh, then it was a, it was a combination thing. You had to use everything together. But um, then archery was the way to go. Oh, they've had me working down here for days now. It's not the time that's getting to me, though. It's these tunnels. I've told them countless times now to add extra supports to the weak sections of tunnel. Normally, we had more of those wooden beams that we reinforced with bronze bottoms. Honestly, if I hear the earth shift one more time above my head, I'll be so stressed I may stop drinking for good. I mean, what's a Nord without his mead? And this is typical Skyrim storytelling. We have a journal where you've got a man who's stressed out about tunnels that he's afraid are going to cave in on him. And we have a caved in tunnel and a skeleton, a dead man in a caved in tunnel. It's Skyrim storytelling. It's a tableau, if you will. I like it.
well as can be expected. I mean, the best that could be expected is if I hit that second guy while he was still in the mouth of the tunnel, but... for the impossible. I made one of those shots, making both of them is expecting too much, I think. Ah, oh, there's one. There's, yeah, there we go. Okay, let's see if we can get kill this fella before he kills us. I missed him. Missed him again. why you carry lots of arrows because of all the missing that goes on. Let's call it into this session right here. Pick it up next time.